Here we go. Hello, welcome everybody to the Lone Catholic High School, the uh, Sunny B. Shepherd Memorial Gymnasium, where we're going to have the, the Lone Squires take on the York Catholic Spartans, I think. York Tech Spartans. York Tech. Sorry, York, York yeah, Tech. York Tech Spartans. Um, I'm here, this is Bill Smith. I'm here with Tony Weaver, and we're going to call the game for you tonight. Yeah, so, uh, De Delone comes into the game here six and nine overall. York Tech comes in ten and four. York is third in Division uh, three of the YAIA, and uh, Delone sits at fourth. Now in the district playoffs, Delone sits at uh, number four in uh, the AA playoffs. So, uh, uh, barring a total collapse where they don't win any more games, they're probably going to make the district playoffs. And York Tech, uh, they're ten and four, but they're in the six A category. So I was going to ask. I thought they a, were a bigger big school. Win, a big game here for the Squires tonight, points wise. They beat Tech down at Tech by one early in the season, and probably what Coach uh, uh, Wilson told me before the game was probably their best game they played all year. Uh, they're going to have to have another good game here at Tech's quick. They got a little bit of height, and uh, Delone's going to have to put the ball in the basket after uh, Delone got. Uh, they had a little bit of a up and down week here. They upset Bigverville down at Bigverville on uh, Monday night, or here, and then uh, they lost to Littlestown, of course, when we were doing the girls' Littlestown right. game. Uh, Littlestown, who's undefeated and in first place in the division, uh, handled Delone pretty handily, 71-44. So uh, Delone's back in action tonight, trying to get back in the winning end and uh, get to 7-9 and nine here against uh, Tech, who they beat by one down at Tech. Well, I would imagine. I know we saw uh, Little Sound play down here. It, that probably says more about the Little Sound boys team than it does our boys team. They're very good. Well, it, uh, Coach Wilson said they had it down. It was a 10-point third-quarter game, and they in the fourth quarter, Little Sound depth just took over, and uh, Delone got in a little bit of foul trouble, and that was all she wrote. And Little Sound ended up winning by 27. He said the game wasn't that bad. Remember, we did the game down here, 81-61, when Little Sound beat Delone down here and Delone played pretty well that night but Littlestown's a very solid their starting five can play with anybody in the county yeah I think that's that's just a, a quality team this year they have a good class they do and uh, like I said Tech's 10 and 4 overall Delone's uh, 6 and uh, six and 9 overall but Delone is 4th in district points now I don't think Delone can actually make the league playoffs so they're going to miss those games but uh, like I said barring something uh if they don't win another game, they probably wouldn't finish six. But one or two wins will get them into the playoffs here. And uh, Coach said, you know, anything they can get positive is what he's looking for here. He also said, you know, the record doesn't indicate how hard these kids are playing for him because we have saw this is the fourth game we have did, and I've been over to quite a few other ones and saw them when we weren't broadcasting. These kids don't quit. They they, they give you everything they have. And uh, – for the talent-wise, they, they, you know, they're, they're they're trying to hang in against uh, teams that are have a lot more basketball talent than they do. Yeah, and that's just something that I know coach is struggling with a bit. Uh, whether it's enrollment numbers, whether it's uh, what these kids do for for fun, when you know, I play a little bit of basketball recreationally but I was never into playing on teams or anything but I know we always had we always had people who were huge uh, they just wanted to play basketball they yeah, were and, primarily and I, basketball and I don't know if we have too many of them uh, this year and, and really we don't have anybody on the most of the most of the guys that start in a basketball team also played football and uh, yeah. there's nobody really and uh, Evan Brady who's averaging over 20 points a game he has to he has to he has to hit that average or grow over for DeLone to have a chance in most of their games. Uh, like tonight, you know, we're, we're probably going to start Keller, uh, Monto, Opernosi, Brady, and maybe Matt Reineman, you know, you know, who knows. But losing uh, Shipley early in the year was a big loss to this team because he gave them a lot of good minutes, a lot of good rebounding, and uh, every once in a while could score, you know, maybe seven, eight points a game. But Shipley was more of a defensive player and more of a the rebounder, and losing him uh, it left a big hole. Coach said before the game. And Matt Reineman does an adequate job, especially I think he's only a sophomore. Of you sophomore? Yeah, he's six two sophomore, yeah. and and he does it. You're right, he does a good job. But now 
he has to do it all the time. And when he right. gets in foul trouble, there's nobody else to come. It, it, it really, you, losing Shipley really hurt the depth of the team where, you know, they had Reinemann coming in for Shipley and giving a lot of good minutes. Well, now you don't have Shipley, so Reinemann has to step up. And, and uh, like you said, he's only a sophomore, so he, he has to give a lot of, a lot of his minutes are where now he has to play more minutes. Well, and, and as a, you know, if you are playing off the bench and you're a young, a young guy, you don't have to worry about accumulating fouls nearly as much. But if you're, yeah, if you're going in there and you're expecting to, or you're expected to play 25, 26 minutes, you have to spread your fouls out over a much longer. Well, that, that's exactly right. A basketball game is 32 minutes, barring overtime. And what Reinemann was going to do at the beginning of the year with Shipley here was give him 12, 15 minutes. He was going to play in that area. Now, like you said, he has to he has to stretch that out to 22, 25 minutes, and he's going to be a he's a banger because he's the only person we have inside with any height. And he he as we saw a lot of the games, he picks up two fouls pretty early. He, he's riding the pine until you know the second half, and then we we have to play small. And now that doesn't always happen because of Wednesday oh, night we saw the, the girl from uh, yeah, the girl yeah. from Littlestown. Yeah. She got three quick call, and still call. played the rest of the game. She, she was tough. And but it, it did affect yeah. it did affect the way she played. She yes, it did. Play, she, she wouldn't be as aggressive as she, no. she wanted to be. By the way, the girls are off tonight. The next game uh, they play will be Tuesday night. We'll have it right here on DCBN. It's the annual uh, or you know game against York Catholic here at Delone. We expect a big crowd for that game. Uh, York Catholic's second in the division. York Delone's first in the division. They will not meet in districts this year as York Catholic's still double A and Delone is triple A. Let's go over the rest of the schedule for you this year. Uh, next week, that's the only game we have, uh, York Catholic girls. And then the following week is the last week of the regular season. We'll have the girls on against Greencastle Antrim on Monday night, the 28th. And then we'll have Hanover February 1st, which will be senior night. We have the boys again on the 29th of uh, January, Tuesday night against Bo Bermudian Springs, and that again will be senior night. So we're going to have both senior – well, we're, weather permitting, we're planning on that. You know, that's the schedule the rest of the way. And it looks like right now, unless somebody gets a home district game, we probably won't be, be doing districts uh, because we're not allowed – actually, we're not allowed to televise the districts. We're only allowed to uh, – do them in audio form so we probably won't be doing districts and looks like both girls and guys teams are going to get into the districts here and coach you know coach Wilson told me before the game he's trying to make these kids believe you know they can play with the you know in the districts and they can make some noise in there because they're only going to be playing teams their size once they get to the districts and that was one thing I know even way back playing we were, I think we were double A when there were only four, uh, only four classes. Yeah. And like back, I'm talking 20 years ago or so. But you'd always play bigger teams because you know little, you'd always play Southwest. They were always bigger. Hanover wasn't as small as it is now. Right. Littlestown, Gettysburg, oh, they were all at least our size. You were, we were always playing bigger schools. And now it's a bigger talent pool, but it doesn't mean that they might not have the tradition. I know York Tech. I'm going to mention it just because I know how you know how big a deal it is to get a team together. It's not easy for kids spread out across the whole county who are usually at York Tech because they're doing a long program, whether it's a mechanics program or agriculture. Even, you know, computer tech stuff, you know, whatever you're doing, it's a little bit more involved than just, I think, going through your normal high school class. It is, it is, and plus the fact they got to travel a long way to go to school. Well, there's the buzzer. We're going to give the starting lineups, and when the national anthem's played, we'll be quiet here and try to get it on the air for you. But we'll look, try to give, give you who the starting lineups are for both teams. We think we know DeLone's. Uh, this is the first I've seen York Tech all year, so we're going to have to go with uh, – Looks like number four is going to be a starter. A.D. Tim Bonnets is going to tell you what you can do and what you can't do here at the loan.
Here's the starting lineups for Tech. Juan Cerro, number 21, a junior forward. Number four, Terrence Romy. Number 33, Xavier Feliciano. Number 32, Jesse Gracie. And Back here at Sunny Shepherd Memorial Gym on the campus of the Lone Catholic High School. Nice crowd of kids down here to our left. Yeah, I noticed that too during the national <laughs> anthem. One, one other thing I noticed was going through the York Tech starting lineup: uh, five seven, six two, six two, six zero, oh, six four. Yeah, yeah they're going to. It's going to be gonna, difficult. And now their JVs played a, a one two two zone, so we're going to have to see what they play when they come out. So Rami. Cerro, Gracie, Feliciano, and Batty. There's two Felicianos. Yeah, it was 30, Diego. Diego. It, yeah, it was Diego that's the starter. Oh, is it number Diego 30. number 30? Yeah, he's actually the one going up for the jump ball. Okay, I'm sorry about that. It is Diego, not Xavier. I thought they said 33, but they didn't. So Colvin Keller or, or jump against Diego Feliciano. Ball's controlled by the Squires, and it's going to be Brady bringing it up the court. Looks like a 3-2 zone by York Votech. York Tech, I'm sorry. They used to be Votech. Keller out to his brother. Over the corner to Monto. Back out to Brady. Back to Monto. Just throwing it around the front now against this 3-2 zone. Monto loses it as he tries to go through the middle. And it's going to be a tie-up. And the ball is going to go over to York Tech. Ball's into number 35, Body. Body is their leading scorer, I think. 6'4", point guard, huh? Back in the corner. A three-pointer not there. Ball's going to roll out of bounds and it's going to go to the squares. Yeah, I wouldn't expect that height to be yeah, he's kind of wasted out front. He's out front playing point. Romney took that shot from the corner. Romy, I'm sorry, from the corner. Brady out front with the ball. Going to be tough penetrating this zone. Reinemann's going to try to play the post there and try to make something happen down low. They got Diego on him inside. Keller drives, gives the ball up to his brother, Colton. Ke nice job. Nice job in there by Corbin Keller as he took it low and put it up and in. Squires two, tech nothing. Batty with the ball out front to Romy. Romy drives. Knight have to be very deliberate tonight against this zone. Diego Feliciano all over. Matt Reinemann inside. Reinemann gets the ball down low. Passes it out to Brady. Brady drives, stops, pops. Not there. 
No foul called. Here come the Tech Spartans down the court. Nice drive by number four, Romy. He laid it in. Monto took a shot, not there. Mitchell's going to give the ball to DeLone there. Ball was kicked out of bounds by number 21, Zero. And Brady's going to bring it down for the Squires. 2-2 two -two here with 540 left in the first quarter. Keller out front to his brother. To Monto, to Brady. Brady, nice pass inside to Reinemann. Reinemann tries to go up. He's fouled inside. He'll get two shots here. They called it foul on number 30, Diego Feliciano. He's a 6'2 senior. Reinemann's going to shoot two. First one's up and good. Reinemann will get one more. Reinemann's second shot is also good, and Squires have a 4-2 lead with 5.15 left here in the first quarter. Batty out front. Over to Gracie. Gracie guarded by uh, the younger Keller. Batty again. Santiago to Gracie. Or Feliciano, I'm sorry, to Gracie. Back to Romy. Romy drives, stops, pops. Not there. Rebound by Keller. Corbin Keller. He hands it off to Brady and down come the Squires. Nice pass inside to Reinemann. Reverse layup is good and he's fouled. He'll get a chance for a three-point play here. Number 21, Johan Ciro, 6'2 junior. Got him on the rebound after he made the shot, 6'2. Reinemann's going to go back with a traditional three-point play. Reinemann shots up, and he rolls it in. Timeout, York Tech. 30-second timeout. They're down 7-2. to two. Four thirty-seven left here in the first quarter, and, DeLone, and uh, Bill, a nice start for Matt Reinemann inside. It is. I was a little worried about him. He looks like the only thing we have in there, but, you know, they're... Well, him and Keller made the... Uh, Reinemann has five, Keller has two, and uh, they were both... Everything that we made so far that we made, that the loan <laughs> made so far has been inside. So uh, they're going to have... They take their time. They can penetrate that zone. The York Tech coach, uh, Jim Collins, very upset with these players. Sat them down there and uh, had a talk with them, and here they come back out in the court. Uh, let's see, number 14 in there, Zayden Zorba is a new player. Now he's He came in for number 20, Zero. So Zayden Zorba, a 5'11 junior guard in the game now for York Tech. Batty brings the ball up the court, being guarded by Brady. To Gracie. Gracie back to Batty. Back to Gracie in the corner. Back out to Gracie for three. Not there. Rebounded. Nice hustle by York Tech to get that rebound. Three-point shot. No good. Ball's batted around. Diego Feliciano laid it in. Missed it, but was hacked. Let's see who they call that foul on. I think it's good. They're going to call it on 20. That was on Reinemann. 42 Reinemann. Reinemann was hanging around there. I thought they might get Keller, but they got Reinemann. First shot's up and good by uh, Diego Feliciano. He'll have another one coming here. Second shot is off the mark. Rebounded by Corbin Keller, and he gives it up to Evan Brady, and here come the Squires up the court. 
Keller from three-point land. He got it. Corbin Keller stepped back behind the three-point line and hit a tray. He has five. Reineman has five for the ten points for the Squires. Batty, Batty out front drives to the basket. And that's going to be tough to stop if he puts his mind to do that at 6'4". Colton Keller to Brady. Brady inside to Reineman. Reineman back out to Keller. Corbin Keller from the other side, not there. Reineman on the rebound, lays it up, not there. Rebound by Feliciano. Gives it up to Romy. Romy way over in the corner to Batty. 6'4", got that one. 3-10 left here in the first quarter. Squires up five. There's Zorball. Zorball to Gracie. Gracie not there. Ball batted around. It's batted out of bounds, and they're going to give it to the Squires right in front of the Squire bench, just under three minutes left here. And Brady brings it up. 2-1-2 two, two zone. A long three-pointer by Colton Keller, not there. Nice drive, but he's going to be fouled. Terrence Romy took it the whole way to the basket, and they're going to call a foul here. Let's see who they call it. It's either going to be in Keller or Brady. They got Brady for his first team second, and Romy going to shoot two. First one's up. Not there. Bounces out. We'll get another one here. His shot's up. Not there. Rebounded by Tyler Monto. Giving off to Brady. And here come the Squires with a five-point lead. Ball down to Reinemann. Reinemann tries to go in, but the ball's blocked. Gracie down the court for the Votek. Up and in by Romy. Nice fast break there. They're going to throw a little bit of a 1-2, a 2-1-2 trap on the Squires here. Ball down the court. Yep. Reinemann corrals it, and but loses it out of bounds. Last oh. touch by Tech, so it's going to stay with the Squires under the basket. And the, Bill, their height and their height with that uh, trap is going to hurt. It is. That's going to make going to going to make it tough. Make the angles difficult to to get anything around them. Ball stolen away by Tech. Here comes Batty up the court. He has Brady on him. He goes the whole way to the basket. Not there. He gets the rebound. Tries to go back up, but I think they're going to call a foul on Tyler Monto on the way back up. Let's see who they call that on. Yeah, it's going to be a Monto, so Batty's going to shoot two. That's Monto's first, the team's third. 2.05 left here in the first quarter, 10-7 the Squires. Batty for two. First one's up and rolls out. Batty will get another one. Second shot, also no good. Rebound by Brady. He outs it to Colton or uh, Monto, and Brady gets it back. Still a 2-1-2 two, two zone trap. Ball's thrown out of bounds, and that's that, uh, with York Tech's length. That's going to be tough to break that trap. They're going to have to go to the middle and then cut off the side from that. 155 left here in the first quarter. Delone 10. Tech seven. Batty has the ball out front for Tech. Tech and green with white trim. Squires in their home white. Yeah, big bodies and long arms are going to make it difficult to find a place to get that ball through there. Amir Greer's in here for a Tech here. He came off the bench. I'm not sure who went out. Let me check the number. It looks like one of the... Uh, Zero went out. Feliciano to Romy. Romy tries a three. It's not there. Ball's up. Out of bounds. They're going to give it to the Squires with 127 left here in the first quarter. <laughs> Tech sets up their uh, zone trap. There, the Squires broke it. Over to Colton Keller. Gets it back to Brady. 
Brady throws it away oh. into the middle. Greer has it. Greer's down. Colton Keller gets it. Down the court. Gives it to Brady. Brady gives it back. The ball's out of bounds, and it's going to be off Colton Keller. So that ball's going to go over, back over to Tech. And let's see. Uh, Monto's going to go out for the Squires. And I believe... Kevin Mowry. Kevin Mowry in. came yep. into the game. That's who it is. It's Kevin Mowry into the game. Greer's going to bring the ball up for Tech. Batty's going to play the, the wing now. Nice move. He spins in. Balls. He loses the ball to Col Colvin Keller. And he gives it back to Brady with 40 seconds left in the first quarter. They were abandoning that trap. They had a lot of, set, a lot of success with it. Mowry's know. trapped in the corner. The ball's taken from him by Zorbaugh. Zorbaugh comes the length of the court, gives it back to number four, Romy. Romy oh. gets it into Batty inside, and there's no stopping that at 6-4. 10 to 9 with under 20 seconds left. Now they go back to it. Ball's again taken away. Mowry throws it away. Batty back in. He makes the shot. Seven seconds left. Mowry from downtown on a three, not there. And the first quarter will end with York Tech Spartans on a 8-0 run to take an 11-10 lead at the end of the first quarter. Squires were leading 10-3 at one time, and 8-0 run makes it 11-10, and it all, it all centered around that 2-1-2 uh, two, two zone trap that they put on full court. Malone had, had no answer for that. Not yet. The one time that they did get through pretty easily, they took your your advice, got yeah. into the middle, and then and back out to the side. And I'm sure that's what Coach yeah. Wilson's telling them now. Just take your time because uh, they got some points off turnovers there. Let's see. Number 32 is going to go back in the game, Gracie, for the Spartans. The arrow favors Delone Catholic. They're going to get the ball here to start the second quarter. But they're down one, and they had a seven-point lead. And uh, the biggest thing I see out of all this is that uh, Reinemann has five, uh, Corbin Keller has five, and Brady hasn't scored yet. <coughs> Spartans stay in that 1-2-1 one, one zone. Brady has it out front. Over to Corbin Keller. Back to Brady. Brady from way downtown. Got there it. There we go. That was an NBA three. Just when you call them out. 13-11 Squires. Romy out front. That's Greer. I'm sorry. Greer gets it taken away by Chico Opernozzi, who's in the game now. Opernozzi came in for uh, Matt Reineman. Keller to Brady. Back to Brady. Mowry. Oprah Nosey, both Kellers, in the corner to Colvin Keller, back to Colton. Nice pass to Oprah Nosey. He lays it up, oh. not there. Nice rebound by Keller, but he lost it out of bounds, so that ball's going to go over to the Tech Spartans. 7-11 left here before halftime. Oprah Nosey's got to tie his shoe, so they stopped the action here. Gracie's going to... Trigger it into uh, Batty, Jaquan Batty. Let's see who else is in the game. Greer, Romy, and that's Feliciano back there on the baseline. They're going to let Gracie be the point guard now as he brings it up the court. going to have a block on the floor. That's going to be on uh, either Mowry or Opernozzi. I'm not sure. I think it was Mowry. That's Mowry's first, the team's fourth. Greer has it in the corner. He drives to the basket, stops, guarded by Mowry. Back out front to Romy. Romy drives to the basket. Back to Gracie. Gracie from downtown, not there. Nice rebound by Brady. And he'll bring the ball up the court for the Squires.
Brady to Colton Keller, back to Brady. Very deliberate offense by the Squires. It Corbin Keller in the no, ball's no, taken no, no. away and a weak pass by Feliciano. He lays it up and in. And you can't be lazy against this team or they're going to take it the length of the court on you. Back to their press. Broken to Opernosi. Opernosi has the ball. Gives it up to uh, Keller. Keller drives, lays it up. Nice drive by Keller. Determination there, and he has seven points. Corbin Keller. Gracie has it. Nice move inside. Yeah. What a move by number four, Terrence Romy. And ties the game up here with 5.45 left before half. Open nosy has it. Slows it up. Gives it to Keller. Keller to his brother. Inside to open nosy. Gives it up to Brady. Nice give and go. Brady lays it in. 17-15. Squires. Batty out front. Romy couldn't get it to go. It was blocked. Here come the Squires up the court. Open nosy. Keller. Nice rebound oh, by his brother. Took a three that his brother shot. Corbin Keller guys nine on a nice rebound and put it back in. 19-15 the Squires. Under five minutes left here before half. A long three. Not there. And Corbin Keller again with a rebound. Having a nice game for himself tonight. Squires slow it up a little bit with Brady out front. Back to Keller. Back to Brady. Brady with a long, long shot. Got it. NBA three again by Brady. 22-15. And we're going to get a timeout here from York Tech. I think. I think he. I'm not sure he took a timeout or what. Or what the stoppage like clock was. Well, York Tech has six people in the court at the time. Okay, now we got it right. It looks like Johan Sur is coming back in, and uh, Diego Feliciano is going to sit down for a while. So I don't know what that was. I mean, they yeah, stopped. Yeah, I, I saw a little bit of the. The T motion by the by one of the refs. I didn't know if that was a yeah. timeout or a technical or Romney made a layup to bring them within five, bring tech within five. Down to Mallory. Mallory to Brady. Brady around everybody and lays it up and in. They broke the press very nicely that time. Batty brings the ball up the court for the Spartans. He goes to the basket, lays it up, not there. Ball's knocked around. They're going to call it off Batty and give it to the Squires. And here we go. We're going to get Monto back in the game. See who he's coming in for. He's going to come, come in, come from back Mowry. in from Mowry. Open Nosy. Monto. Both Kellers and Brady on the court right now. Back to Brady out front. Over to Monto. Monto tries to get it inside. It's kicked away by Johan Cero. Monto triggers it back to Brady in the backcourt. He'll bring it across the timeline. Keller's having a little trouble with it in the corner. Back to Brady. Brady has it over to Monto. Monto drives, gets it to Keller. Brady out front. Nice pass inside the court. A nice layup by Corbin Keller. He has 11. What a game he's having. Squires up nine. Batty's going to the basket. Lays it up. He's fouled on the way to the hoop. He'll get two. I think they're going to call that on Keller, by the way. That is Keller's first team fifth. And Batty will shoot two. First shots up and good. Batty's going to get another one here. Second shots up and also good. 
25-19, exactly three minutes left before half. And Brady will bring the ball up court for the Squires. Brady from downtown again. He got it again. That's three from mid, almost midcourt. Squires up 10. Brady has uh, 11 points along with Keller's 11 points. As soon as you mentioned that he hadn't had any. Yeah. I got him mad. I took him. <laughs> oh, we got a foul out front. That's going to be I the 16th Brady. foul, and that's Brady's second. He tried for the steal and grabbed the wrist instead. That is going to be two on Brady. Team sixth. See if uh, Coach takes him out with two minutes or left him, leave him play with two fouls. Ooh, he hopped and he walked, but they didn't get the call there. Let's see who they call that on. It's going to be a foul. I think uh, Romy's going to go to the line here. Keller. They call it on Monto? No, they called it on Keller. He has two also now. Two shots for... Terrence Romy. First shot is up and rolls out. Reinemann's going to come back in the game for Keller. Let's see if uh, Coach Wilderson employs a strategy of holding the ball here a little bit here before half. Brady and uh, Corbin Keller have two fouls. Second shot's up and rolls and out again. Ball comes to Brady. Brady brings it over the timeline, over to Colton Keller. He drives, lays it across to Monto. Monto dishes it to Opernosi. Back to Reinemann. Reinemann got it. Ten-foot jumper from the corner. <coughs> Romy has it out front over to Gracie. Gracie kicks it into the backcourt, and it's going to be a backcourt call. Squires will take over. Up 12 with 152 left here in the first half. Brady has it again. See if they make York Tech come out of this zone. Eat some clock off here. Go to Colton Keller, back to Brady. Go to Colton Keller again. Back to Ryan, I'm into to Keller to Brady, back out front. And Opernosi, he stopped. Oh, oh, nice idea, but he didn't get it. The pass hit uh, Reinemann's foot and went out of bounds. And we're going to have another 30-second timeout here by York Tech. One twenty-seven left here in the first half, 31-19. And Bill Delone's playing very deliberate and doing a great job taking their time making their passes. Yeah, I think they kind of really settled down, just got some confidence, especially once uh, Brady started scoring. Yeah. And well, that, that moved them out a little bit. When he started hitting them from out there, there was really nothing. If they want to stick in that zone, uh, the loan's just going to have to be very deliberate and take their time here. Tech back in the court here. They come on with Batty, Ciro, Zorball back in the game, Gracie. And let's see, and number four, Terrence Romy. And I think it's imperative that Delone gets out of this half with Brady not picking up his third foul. They already have uh, Corbin Keller on the bench with two fouls. They don't want anybody picking up their third right. foul. But it's very tough taking Brady out of this game. And Batty's going to go to the point guard, and it looks like Brady's going to be on him. Brady on Zorball now out front. Ooh. Back to Batty. Batty up her nose, he has him. Nice spin move by Batty, lays it up, not there. And Oprah knows he comes out with a wild rebound. And here comes Brady up the court with under a minute left. Brady, nice pass inside to Ryan, oh. but he gets it swatted away. 
fans wanted a foul, but I don't think there was. I think that was a good block. I think it was. I, I didn't see any foul. They just got Fatty, over top of him. Fatty's going to shoot a three. That's too long. Monto in the rebound, and the Squires will bring it up with under 30 seconds oh. left. See if Coach Wilderson wants to play for one here. Foul out front on number four, Terrence Romney. That's only going to be the team's third. They have a few to give yeah. here. It's his first, team's third. Delone will trigger it in here on the side. 21 seconds left. And the ball goes to Brady in the backcourt. Brady gets a screen out front. Gets it to Monto. Monto back to Brady. Six seconds left. Brady stops. Over to Ronneman from the corner. He got it. Right at the buzzer. A 10-footer again for Ronneman. Ronneman has nine of points. And the Squires have a 33-19 lead at halftime. Really good first. That's probably the best first half we saw him play all year. I think year. so, yeah. Especially the second quarter. They really, well, even part of the first, they were up 10-3 yeah. in the first. Coach, up... Coach Whittleson has to, well, yeah, they, 23, to, uh, 23 to 8 run there by the Squires, really moving the ball. They cut way down on their turnovers in the second quarter and really, really, really played a great half there. 33-19. Uh, the clock hasn't started yet for halftime. I guess it's going to start here in a minute. And... Uh, You're going to show some of them. Uh, yes, I would, yeah. We're going, We're going to show a couple promos for, for the school and especially for the uh, the Hall of Honor induction dinner. We're going to have, I think it's about three weeks in February 8th. So I probably. Are there still be, tickets available for that, by the way? I believe so. We could check with the uh, the advancement office, uh, whether that's, uh, you know, you want to get in touch with Eric Lawrence or Jen Hart or their secretary, uh, Ginger Slagle. They'll take care of you and get you set up with that. But it'll be here in the cafeteria on February 8th. I'll come back to it. Okay. Hello, and we're back, and just to re-answer Tony's question that we're going to have 
still have tickets on sale for the Hall of Honor dinner until the 1st of February. So there's still another couple weeks to to make your plans to attend that. Um, I know past couple of years, we we don't fill the cafeteria, so there's no definite hurry for tickets to run out, but they do have a cutoff date just so we can know how many we're going to hear and make plans for it. What a first half by the Squires leading by 14 here against York Tech and, uh, and a game which uh, will really enhance uh, their making the Division uh, 2A district playoffs. They beat Tech down at Tech by one. And remember, Tech's a little bit ahead of them in the league here. Tech stands at 10-4, and four, DeLone 9-6. and six. Uh, DeLone played a very deliberate offense. And uh, actually, Coach Wilson must have been very happy because both teams actually are back out in the court here. Uh, it, the only problem is now Corbin Keller, who has 11 points, has two fouls. Uh, Evan Brady has 11 points, has two fouls also. And nine points by Matt Reineman. So that's 30 or 31 of the 33 points uh, are scored by three guys. We're going to have to keep them people in the game. Actually, I think Coach did a great job there getting Reineman some time on the bench in the second quarter because he's not in foul trouble. But he got up. Chico Opinozzi came in and uh, did a fine job. Uh, you know, in about five minutes, he gave uh, Reineman a little bit of rest. And Reineman came in. Last two baskets of the half were 10 foot jumpers from the corner. By Reineman off great passes from Brady, so uh, and that Squire, may that may pay dividends here in the second half. Just I, I, being, I'm sure it will. It saves his legs. Yeah, because just being I, able to play more, do more of what he wants. Well, I think the slow play, the slow play of the offense also has something to do with this. They're not hurrying, th except for that little run when when they had four turnovers against that press. They they come down. They're being very deliberate. They're taking 30 seconds, you know, before they shoot, and they're taking some time off the clock. And uh, the, on the defensive end, they're making York Tech work for everything they get. And not, you know, they're not, I can't say they're out-rebounded Tech because they're not, but they're doing well enough on the boards that Tech is getting a lot of second shots. And I was just wondering, too, at the very end, you know, they, they got the, York Tech got the one foul just, and that was, you know, showed me that, or reminded me that they only had three for the whole half. Yeah, they half. only had three, yeah. They, yeah. And, well, they play that, they're not going to get many with that zone. And I doubt if he wants. I doubt if a uh, coach, uh, coach for uh, Coach Collins for Tech, he don't. You can tell by what just what happened the first half. He wants Romney and uh, Batty on the on the court, number four, number thirty-five. He does not want them coming off. They they didn't get any rest them two, and I, I doubt if they will. Uh, like I said, Willis, Coach Wilson, what he told me before the game is very proud of this team. You know, they hustle for him. They, they, he wants them to try to play better defense, and uh, and they are tonight. And 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 he has to be very happy with the way they're playing tonight. After uh, staying very close to Littlestown through two and a half quarters, and then getting spanked down there. But the, they had a big win Monday night here against Biglerville. So if they can go two and three this week, I'm sure he's going to take that. And I think again, they're they're exceeding expectations. So. Tonight and in the season, they're very modest expectations, but effort, discipline well, he, is really you know, showing. You know, and and they are modest expectations because he told me he said what he wants to see is improvement. Every night, improvement. You know, he he understands there's uh we don't have uh, there's not a LeBron James out there. Evan Brady, you know, even though he's a scorer, he's only five seven. You know, he's a magician. He was a magician in football too. So. Uh, you know, and Evan lit it up here in the second half, second quarter for 11 points after I, I'm not even sure if he took more than one shot in the first quarter. I can only remember one shot in the first quarter. It might have only been one. But uh, also Brady, he had 11 points, but he had two assists. And the one assist was a great drive down the middle, dish off to Corbin it's Keller it's for a layup. So, uh, you know, he's running the floor. And uh, they, they, they really want to try to get him away from point guard and put him into shooting guard. But. That's not the way it works now. They're going to have to play him where, where they can. So Yeah, I know. I'm not sure if we mentioned, but uh, the Pete Bay boys aren't here tonight. Uh, there's a question as to whether they'll be back. They may have transferred. But I also didn't see Josh Riddell. I no, know he and was... he's probably the only one. We had Opernosi and Mallory off the bench, and I'm sure Josh Riddell is probably the next guy to come off. But I'm not even sure he's here. 
Uh, oh, really? I thought he played the JV game. Maybe I, I was kind of thought so too, but I, I I had thought, but then I noticed he wasn't he wasn't back, and, okay. and that would have surprised me that he would have played JV and not come back. But he may end up being more of a a point guard. Well, exactly, and we'll have to see. The, the, the arrow favors Tech here in the second half, so they're going to get the ball to start the second half. And I, my guess is Batty and uh, Rummy are going to be a lot more aggressive in going to the basket like they like they were there at the end, although they missed a lot of their shots. And they Tech could be a lot closer in this game, but they, they – uh, they, uh, I know four or five missed, foul they missed, shots. They missed a lot missed, of their foul right. shots. They did. I was trying to come up with a nice word to say how there, well, they, there, they bricked their foul shots. There and, was uh, a time when, you know, when it was like 10-7, Delone, when, you know, that three difference was three missed foul shots. Yeah. And they had it, they had had at least three shots at the time. It might have even had four or five. And here comes, we're going to start the second half right now. Number one for uh, Capo's in there. That's a new number for uh, Capo's in the game. Number three, Cabrera's in the game. So a couple new guys out there, except 35 and four are still the same. And 13. 13's in the game. Yeah, well, so they, they have three new ones, but they still do have. They, they're not taking Batty and uh, right. Romy off the floor. Romy looking to drive, nothing there. He backs it off. Now he's going to the basket, lays it up, not there. Rebounded by Corbin Keller. Squires are playing the original starting five. Both Keller boys, Brady, Monto, and Reineman on the floor. Squires, again, being very deliberate with the ball out front. Keller to Brady. Brady over to Monto. Monto to Keller in the corner. Back out to Corbin Keller, the junior, to Brady. And Brady brings it around, and we're under seven minutes. Ball's knocked out of bounds by Tech, and it'll stay with the Squires. 6.57. Corbin Keller will bring it in, and he'll give it to his younger brother, Colton. And Delone's going to be content to pass it around out front here. Now it's inside the uh, right of him, but it's knocked away by number four, Romy. He gives it up to Capo. It was good to grind out a good 40 seconds or so, but yeah. you, you want to end up with some points. You want to end up at least with a good a good chance at some points. Batty out front. Back to Capo. Capo in the corner, number four. It's not there. Lays it up and good. And it's going to be a three-point attempt for number, let's see, thir is that 13? That's 13. 13, and that's Daryl Wilkes. Here. Wilkes is going to try to cut the lead to 11. And let's see who got him. Uh-oh, that was Corbin Keller, and that's number three. Wilkes shot. He got it. 33-22, 6.20 left here in the third quarter. Into Reineman. Nice pass inside to Reineman. Keller. Not there. Uh, that was Monto. I'm sorry, Monto. Uh, Tic-tac foul out front. I don't know who that's going to be called on. I believe they're going to call that on 23, Colton, Colton Keller. Second team foul yeah. on the Squires. And the ball is going to go to Romy. Back out to Batty. Under six minutes. Batty out front. Over to Capo. Capo gives it up to Cabrera. Cabrera looking to drive. Nothing there. And it goes to Romy out front. York Tech being very deliberate. A long three. Not there. Rebounded nicely by uh, Colvin Keller. Give it up to Brady. And here come the Squires. 5.20 left here. Pass inside to Keller. He stops, pops, rolls it. Oh. Not there. Rolls out. Batty on the fast break. Lays it up. 
He got it, and he's fouled. Thirty-three twenty-four, and that's on Reinem and his second, team's third. And Batty's going to go for the traditional three-point play here. Shots up, and he got it. So a 13-point lead has been cut down to eight. to eight. Squires have yet to score here. Five-minute mark of the third quarter. Keller to Monto. Monto back to Keller. Reinemann's going to take a three. Not there. Rebounded by Monto. He lays it up, and he's fouled. He'll get two. Nice rebound by Monto. Looks like they're going to call that on Batty. And that's his first team first. As Bill said, they only had three fouls in the first half, so that's only their fourth team foul total. Monto's first shot is up and good. Monto will get another. Monto's second shot is up, and it rolls out. Rebounded by Reinem. It's a tie-up, and that'll stay with the loan. That was good. Also, good position there. Yeah, around he tied it. up with Wilkes. He Brady from the corner. Not there. Rebounded. Balls out of bounds. They're going to give it to York Tech. I don't think Coach Whittleson agreed with that call, but he walks away, and uh, Tech's going to bring the ball up the court. Batty has it. Batty gives it to Romy has it now. He goes to the basket, lays it up and in. Nice move. Seven-point lead by the Squires. 420 left here. And Tech starting to make uh, some inroads to the basket. Back to Brady. Brady in the corner to Reinemann. Reinemann's going to take another three. He got, he got it. that one. Big bucket there by Reinemann. Batty down the court. He throws to the basket. Lays it up and in. No call on the offensive foul. No call there. Coach Wilson doesn't like that call at all. Batty was under, un, out of control down the lane, made his bucket, but knocked over like two DeLone guys. Mont, Monto out to Keller. Keller takes his time, gets it back to Brady. Brady inside the Corbin Keller. No good. He gets a rebound, and he's fouled. He's going to be fouled. I think number four is going to get him there, Terrence Romney. Let's see who they call that on. Yeah, it's number four. Romney grabbed his arm. Corbin Keller will get two. Keller's first shot is good. Both tech coach, or the tech coaches didn't like that call at all. Not sure what they saw. I, I think I saw a foul there. Keller's second shot is good. Back up to 10. Feel a little more comfortable now. Yeah, Batty down the court. Romney to the basket, lays it up, it's blocked, and they're going to call a foul. Ooh. I think they're going to get Reinemann for that foul. If so, that's going to be his third. No, that, I don't think it is Reinemann. Well, they got Monto. Monto for his second. And Romy's going to shoot two. Fourth team foul for the Squires, two on the uh, Spartans. Romney's first shot is up. And rolls in. I think we're going to have an exciting finish here, Bill. If this, uh, I think so. I mean, even if it were to stay no closer than this, it's still exciting basketball. Second shot's in. It's eight points. I just It's hard for me to believe that the three guys that are playing now for Tech didn't play at all in the first half. Yeah. You know, you don't know who really their starters are. If these guys are the ones they've... If there was some discipline or something like that, Keller inside, 
Rolls to the basket, lays it up, not in. Rebounded by number one Capo for uh, Tech. Here comes Rami down the court. He stops, passes it off, back out, out front. Batty in the corner to Rami. Three-pointer, got it. 39-34, 2.40 left here in the first half, in the third quarter. Opernozzi and Mallory ready to come back in the game for the Squires. Colton Keller out front. Gets it into his brother. Back to Colton. Colton on a nice pass, tries to get it in. The ball's knocked out of bounds. Going to stay with the Squires. Opernozzi's going to come in here for Reineman, and Mallory's going to come in for Tyler Monto. They're having a lot, much, a lot more success driving to the basket than they did in the first half. It yeah. almost does appear that these are their legitimate starters. Over to Brady. Brady to Colton Keller for three. Got it! Big shot by the freshman there to stop a tech run. 2.15 left here in the third quarter. 42-34. Batty to the basket. Lays it up. He's fouled on the drive. They're going to call that on the floor, on the drive. And see who they call that on. Blown's fifth team foul, and that's Brady's third. Two oh nine left here in the first in the third quarter. Brady has three. Corbin Keller has three. Pass back out front to Batty. <clears throat> Batty goes to the basket, lays it up, not there. Rebounded and in by number 13. Darrell Wilkes got that rebound and laid it in. Stallone up six. Keller to Brady. Mowry from three. Got it! They're hitting key threes when they have to, Bill. Mowry from the corner. Batty out front for Tech. Cabrera with the ball. Oh, oh. Ball's out of bounds. Turned over to the Squires. Minute 22 left here in the third quarter. Delone up nine. A rare turnover by York Tech. Yeah, they, Usually yeah. offensively, they're they're pretty solid. Here comes the press. Malone breaks it pretty easy this time. Back to Brady. Into Keller. Into the corner of Mowry. Back to Brady. Mowry takes another three and got another one. One minute left in the third quarter. Delone up by 12. Well, he was... Cabrera out front. He's Brady's understudy in football. Is he's <laughs> learning from him in basketball, too. Over to Capo. Capo to Batty out front. Batty from downtown for three. Not there. Rebounded. Uh-oh. What do we got here? We got a foul under the basket somewhere there. Corbin. Oh, no. Going to call oh, it on Open Nosy, I believe. I think it's on Chico. That's the lone 16 foul, Open Nosy's first. Back out to Cabrera. Cabrera Down to close to 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. Cabrera to Romy. Romy to Batty. Oh, there was a big wall, but they didn't wall. call it. Basket up and in by number 13, uh, Wilkes. And here come the Squires. Get it into the front court. Oh, no. Ball's taken away by Batty. Batty jams at home. Cuts the lead to eight. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter with the score, Delone 48, Tech 40. The arrow favors Spartan, so they'll get it when we come out here. And Delone withstood a little bit there until the last two turnovers. 48-40 with eight exciting minutes left here to go here at Sunny Shepherd Gym on the campus of Delone Catholic High School. Three fouls on Brady, three fouls on uh, Corbin Keller. 
two big threes by uh, Kevin Mowry there has kept the lone lead of at least eight. It was cut to five earlier. It's back up to eight now with eight minutes left here in the game. Like I said, Tech gets the ball on the way out here. Six team fouls for the Squires. So the next one will put Tech at the line for one and one. Only two team fouls on York Tech and only uh, five total team fouls in the whole game for Tech. Well, I think some of it's they're not going out at, outside after the – Right, they're playing, the yeah, zone, and they're it's, playing a zone. And I think now it might put them in a good position. They have fouls to give. Nobody's in any trouble. And they still have – Let's see who Tech's – Well, more. Tech's going to keep them same five in the court. And like I said, we didn't see Capo or Cabrera or Wilch in the first half at all. And they're out here now. It's uh, Brady, both Kellers, Opernosi, Mowry out there for the Squires. Into Wilkes, shots up, and he's going to be fouled by Keller. That's going to be Keller's That's fourth. fourth. It looks like Reinemann's going to come back in the game. Patty's first shot's up, and he rolls it in. And Reinemann's going to take Keller's place in the, as Keller has four fouls. Another shot coming for Batty. Shot's up, and that rolls off to the side. They're going to call a foul on Kevo Mowry for a push. What? Chico is again. Was that Chico? That's what they call. I don't know. I really have to say I don't know what was called. That's one and one. Number one, Israel Capo will shoot one and one. First shot's up. Not there. Rebound of Oprah Nosey that time. We still haven't gotten who that foul was on the last time. They didn't put it on the board. I thought it was on Mallory or Oprah Nosey. Brady over in the corner to Mallory. Back to Keller. Brady out front into Reinemann. Reinemann's hammered inside. He'll shoot two. Looks like number 13, Wilkes, got him. That's who they call it on. That's the third team foul, Wilkes first. Reinemann will shoot two. First shot's up. No. Oh. Front rim miss. Squire's still up seven with 7.30 left here in the game. Reinemann's second shot. He got that one. Romy brings it up the court Sir, quickly. Back up the eight. To Wilkes. York Tech trying to get into Wilkes. Wilkes out front over to uh, Cabrera. Cabrera to Romy. Romy stops. Oh, over it. Almost lost the ball. Gets it back. Under seven minutes. Wilkes out front. Romy's going to take a three and got it. 49-44. Press is broken. Opernosi has it. No. And Opernosi throws away. the ball away. No, didn't have to make that throw. 49-44, 6.34 left. Tech's going to have the ball. Wilkes out front to Cabrera. Over to Rami. He drives the basket with his head down, lays it up. They're going to call another foul. Two shots, and uh, that was on number 12, Mowry. That's his second. Team's ninth. Rummy to shoot two. First one's up, and he got it. Looks like Monto's going to come back in the game here. 
for Chico Brinozzi. Rummy's second shot, and the game's a three-point game. This is the closest that uh, Tech's been since the second quarter. Squires break the press. Squires being very deliberate now. Brady out front. 5.50 left to Mallory. Mallory to Brady. Brady to Corbin Keller. Corbin Keller. He drives the basket. Gives it to Monto. Monto drives. No foul on the way in there. Beatty has the ball. Down the floor. He made it. Squires only up one. 5.30. Mallory has it over to Monto, back to Brady. Brady drives, lays it up. Foul number four on the floor. That's their fourth foul. Actually, they called it on Cabrera, number three. Reineman on the rebound, lays it up. He's fouled. Reineman will shoot two. Foul was on number 13. Cabrera, his second team's fifth. Reineman will shoot two. First shot's up. Matt. And the near long miss. Reinerman has one more for the Squires. Shots up. That's short. Rebounded Mallory, but it's back to Rami. He brings it up the court. Gives it to Batty. In the corner to... Long three. Not there. Rebounded by the Squires. It would have Brady with 4.50 left in the game. Oh. Monto has it. And he's fouled. He's going to be fouled by number three again. Cabrera. That's the sixth team foul. Everybody's going to be shooting after this one. Back to Brady. 4.45 left in the game. Squares up one. Keller. Keller into Reineman. Reineman tries to get it across. Brady. Brady from downtown. Got it. A three. A big three for Brady. Puts him back up four with 4.30. Romney He's been gives quiet it to Batty. for a while. Batty's going to go to the basket. Lays it up and in. Mallory has it. Back to Mallory. Into Brady. Brady drives to the basket, lays it up, and he's fouled. He'll shoot two. See who they got that foul, and that's going to be the 17th foul, but he's going to shoot two anyway. Number 13, Cabrera, his third. Brady to the line for two. First shot's up and good. 53-50. Second shot for Brady. He got them both. 54 50. 4.05 left in the game. Batty bring the ball up the court for the Spartans. He's going to the basket. Lays it up. Not there. Gets the rebound. Lays it back up. And they're going to call a foul. I think they're going to call that on Ronneman. His third. Batty's going to shoot two. They're in a the double bonus now. First shot's up. Not there. Got 
3.59, and Tech's going to take a 30-second timeout here, and Batty's going to shoot one more when he comes back in. And can the Squires hold on? 54-50 with 3.59 left. So Batty will have one more shot when he comes in. The arrow favors Delone Catholic if there's a tie-up. Both teams will be shooting. Delone will be shooting one and one if it's not a shooting foul. However, Tech will be shooting two fouls the rest of the way. Uh, as the Squires have already committed ten fouls. Batty will shoot one more. Batty's shot is up and good. Corbin Keller comes back in for the game for the Squires. Ball's given to Monto. Monto drives to the baseline, gets it blocked. Going to be a jump ball that's going to stay with the Squires. Squires wanted a foul there, but they're going to get the jump ball and keep possession of the ball. Yeah, I really don't think that was a foul. That was... Seemed like a clean play. Buzzard's ringing for some reason here. Back out to Colton Keller. Tries to get it into Reinemann. It's going to stay with Delone. 3.45 left here in this game. 54-51, the Squires. Back out to Colton Keller. In the corner to Brady. Brady's going to bring it out front and try to set something up. Reinemann from the corner, not there. Rebounded by Capo. He brings it across, gives it to uh, Comey out front. Cabrera, Batty. Batty to Comey. He drives it to the basket, lays it in. The ball fumbled around. Ball goes out of bounds off Tech to Delone. Wild scramble over there near the bench. 3.02 left. Delone with a three-point lead. Can they hold on? Ball into Brady, and we're under three minutes here at Sunny Shepherd Gym. Over to Colton Keller to Reinemann. Reinemann back out to Keller. Over to Brady. Inside. To he misses the layup. Colvin too hard. Tommy has it, tries to get it to Batty, got it to Batty in the corner. On the right wing, he brings it back out front, looks, looks to drive, lays it up, got it. He pushed a little bit, but they're going to let that go, I guess, all night here. Over to Brady. Brady back to Keller, the ball's almost stolen. Keller for three, not there. Oh, Wilkes got it. Here come the. Comley drives, lays it up, not there. Rebounded by Delone, Ronneman. They get it back to Brady. Back to Brady, in the corner to Monto. Monto takes his time. To Keller, back out to Brady. We're under two minutes. 1.30 left here in the game. Inside, Keller gets fouled. He's fouled by number three, Cabrera. Keller's going to get two shots. 1.34 left here in the game. The lone up one. And we knew this was going to come down to the wire, Bill. I mean...
Keller's going to shoot two. Corbin Keller's first shot is up and good. He's had a great night. Yeah, I'm still wondering what the, the story is with the the three guys that played in the first half and the yeah, three that, play other that guys that played yeah. in the second half. Corbin Keller's second shot. He got them both. The Squires are up three and a quick timeout by Coach Wilderson. Because those three players in the first half were were bench players. They played really well. Yeah, well. Now, and, they, they weren't as, and they, as aggressive. There hasn't been a sub in the second half yet. Let's reset this. 56-53, DeLone Catholic. 134 left here in the game. DeLone has 10 fouls, so anytime that uh, Tech goes to the line, they'll be shooting two. DeLone, uh, Tech has eight fouls, so DeLone has one more one and one if they're fouled without shooting. The arrow favors York Tech since we had a jump ball down here in that last, last time down. So any tie-up will go to York Tech. Tech has been scoring almost exclusively with Batty or uh, Romy driving the baseline. Same five on the court for Tech. For Delone, it's Rodman, Brady, Monto, and both Kellers. Batty will trigger it in to Romy. And here we go. Wow. Three. Back court. Yeah. Yes, it is. Never touched the rim. That nice call by the ref there. I was wondering if he would get that. Number one, Capo tried a three, missed everything, and it was saved into the back court, but it never hit the rim, so that's a back court call. So Brady will take it in the backcourt for the Squires. He's being pressured. Into Keller, back to Brady. Into Keller, over to Monto. Monto holds it. Back to Corbin Keller, back to Monto. Over to Colton Keller, under a minute. Under a minute, Colton Keller, Colbin Keller. Back to Brady. Romy got a hand on that last pass. Ryan him into Keller, to the young Keller. Inside to Keller, his brother, over to Monto. Layup, not there. Rebound, batted around. Ryan him and got the rebound, lays it back up. But they're going to call the foul on the floor. That means Ryan him is going to go for a well, one, one and one. one. With 29 seconds, Lone did a great job eating up the clock there. Yeah. Reinemann has to make the first one to get the second one. It's a one and one, not two shots. Reinemann's first shot is up, and he got it. Puts the Lone up for a two-possession game with 29 seconds left in the game. Reinemann will get one more. DeLone will shoot two the rest of the way also. Reinemann's second shot is up. And he bounces it in. Too. Romney picks it up. He's going to go right to the basket. He's fouled out front. They're going to call that on uh, Colton Keller. 27.2 seconds left. The loan up five. Two shots for Terrence Romy. From his first shot is up and off the rim. Timeout, 30-second timeout by York Tech. 27 seconds left. Both teams in a double bonus now. One more shot for Romy when he comes out. 58-53. My guess is they're going to foul whoever Delone. So if, I think if, so, um, even though even though they do have almost to the double bonus now with their with their fouls, 
that last time down the court, they didn't seem very aggressive. No. You know, they, they didn't. They didn't foul. They didn't even push too hard for a steal. So I'm not sure what the defensive strategy is. One shot for Romy. If he can cut the lead to four, but still be a two-possession game at that time. His shot is up. Not there. And it's Monto gets the rebound. Gets it to Brady. And Brady's fouled in the backcourt by number four with 21 seconds left in the game. Brady will shoot two. That foul was on uh, Romy. Let's see how many that is on him. They're not going to put it up there on the board for me. I think it's three. Brady to shoot two. Brady's first shot is up and near rim miss. Brady gets one more. Brady's second shot is up and rolls oh, out. Perfect. Rebounded by Tech. Romy brings it down the court, stops. Batty from three, not there. A, no, a wild three. Ball's being bounced around. Monto gets the rebound, and he's fouled with six seconds left, and I think that might do it. York Tech had some wild shots there at the basket, and they actually committed a foul going over the back of one of the squares. It wasn't called, and then Romy threw up a one-handed prayer. And Monto's going to go to the line. It looks like the Squires are going to hold on here, leading by five with six seconds left. Monto will shoot two. Monto's first shot is up. Not there. They're letting them, keep, letting them stay close by missing these shots. I mean, I know they're not trying, but that's the effect of it. Second shot's up. Rolls yeah. out, rebounded by Tech. We're going to have to hurry. A three downtown. Good with .3 seconds left. 58-56. Timeout, York Tech. <coughs> with 03 seconds, there has to be a tip, so this game's essentially over. They're going to leave it at, oh, uh, they can't put it at five seconds. They're going to put time back in the clock. I don't Not know that. why. Oh, five. Okay. So now it can be, now they can actually catch it and throw it in if they do steal the ball. So eventually, all DeLone has to do is get it in bounds, and they're going to come away with a 58-56 victory. This is after score, so they can run the, the can baseline. Run the ba yeah, he can. He can run the baseline because it was after a basket. Ball's caught, and the game's over. And DeLone's going to come away with a 58-56 to go win to go 7-9 and nine and get a lot of points for district play because they beat a 6A team. What a game, Bill. That was exciting. Right <laughs> from, you know, it was up and down. DeLone got up really quick in the first quarter. Lost most of it back before the end of the that quarter. Got up, and then after halftime, they struggled a little, but they got the points when they needed to. Some tough threes from Mowry and Brady, but it was it, it was a lot of good defense, a lot of good offense on both sides. Uh, exciting game. Yeah, it was, and hopefully we have another exciting game here Tuesday night when the Delone Catholic Squarettes host the York Catholic Fighting Irish Girls in what should be another great game. What a game tonight. Uh, Delone hung on. Uh, with the weather coming, everybody stay safe over the weekend. Uh, we're going to sign off here, here shortly. For Bill Smith, I'm Tony Weaver. The final score in a great game. One of the best games we <laughs> all year. 58-56, Delone beats the Spartans of York Tech by two to, for big points in the district play. And uh, I'm sure Coach uh, Willison's very happy. For Tony, for uh, Bill Smith, I'm Tony Weaver. Good night, everybody. And good night.